Hey guys, so I thought I'd share with you our family night bins that I got the kids for Valentine's Day. So most of you guys know we've been doing family night for about 11 years. I think it's been 11 years because Daniel's 11. We started uh, consistently doing Friday family nights once Daniel was born. We were like, yeah, we're done with our little family, so we're going to start a little family tradition. So for 11 years, every Friday, you know what the Lacey's are. They are having family night. Mostly, almost everybody in our life knows that. Now, sometimes it does get moved to Saturday or Sunday, depending on if we had, like, weddings to go to or birthday parties or something like that. But typically, 99% of the time, it's on Friday nights. Um, the kids know that. No electronics. Um, no calling, talking on the phone with friends. Um, sometimes they invite friends over, but I kind of try to leave family night just for us because I feel it's very important for us to have that, you know, bond at the end of a week when it's been crazy or whatever. Um, sometimes we do Bible lessons, sometimes we don't. It just depends. Um, typically, it's just pizza, movie, and candy. That's kind of our traditional go-to family night um, and of course when we get extra money we go out and we do things and stuff like that but what I did was I got baskets for the kids so that um, we can kind of contain the mess because when we're having popcorn and we're having candy and pizza and drinks and all that the couch can get a little bit crazy and so <laughs> I'm kind of tired of having the carpet man come and have to clean the couch so I got these little bins for them for Valentine's Day they're so cute the kids love them because they're sturdy enough to sit on the couch right next to them so it contains all their little goodies and snacks so I wanted to kind of show you since it's Friday we got family night tonight what I do to prep for family night um, on a typical Friday so I'll show you guys what is going on here I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got so the four bins are from the Dollar Tree so I bought those for a dollar and then these water bottles they were also from the Dollar Tree and then the little popcorn tins are actually from the Target one spot or bullseye or whatever it's called um, so I spent three dollars per kid typically uh, Nay is yellow and Sean is green I color coordinate the kids but they didn't have yellow and so I had to work with these colors, so I had to give Sean the blue, and I gave Nay like the teal little green color. So that's what we got going on here, but my preference would have been Nay to have yellow, Sean to have green, and then Daniel is orange and dry as pink. That's how I coordinate them in my planner, so that helps me, the coloring helps keep, keep everything straight. So, alright, and then I just have snack bags, which is when I put the candy in. So um, what I do is... All right, so there's all the bins. Flip them over. And then um, I don't fill these up. The juices are actually in the freezer right now, or in the deep freezer, getting cold. So once that gets cold, then whatever our drink is, we just put into their uh, cups. But we don't do that until right when it's time for family night. And then we pop the popcorn. It could be bagged popcorn, or we use our little machine that goes in the, the microwave, and we make popcorn. Um... So there's that, and then I just fill them all up when that's that time. And then we typically go to the Dollar Tree for candy. So today um, they had all the Easter stuff, so I got four. We will use two of them today and two of them next week. So what I do is I just cut it in pretty much in half and split it between them. Sometimes my oldest, my 17-year-old, she doesn't really like cotton candy, so... Hers usually is saved for someone else for the next week. Oh, and then I'll show you guys. I got these cute little tapes when I was at the Dollar Tree. That's for me. Okay. So, we always get cotton candy, especially for Sean because he can't have anything chewy. So, we always get cotton candy uh, for him. And then I got the blow pops. Now, Sean will have one of these, but as soon as he gets to the gum, he just tosses it because he can't have gum with his braces. Um, and then I have I haven't bought these before, but I got the chewy lemon heads for the other three kids. Sean won't have that. We always get Skittles. This time I got sweet and sour's. This one I typically get for Nay because this is typically all she will have. Um, we have all the other stuff, but typically she just will go for this. So this time I'm gonna actually split this up and share it between the kids um, and let her try some of the other stuff. This is Jimmy. He has Mike and Ike's every Friday with fail. 
And then Sean can have these. They don't uh, bother his braces or anything. So I got Smarties. And the kids will, the other kids will eat them. Uh, I got Sour Punch. I usually like to have a couple of these, but I think I'm going to give the kids some as well. I don't know if it's going to be this week or next week. Uh, this is one of Jimmy's other favorites. So I got him those. And then the kids like these little sugar thingies. So it's like Halloween in here. All right, so what I do is I just take four of these snack size bags, so the really small ones, and I just fill it up. Jimmy Candy out. Um, I'll leave those two out. Yeah, pack these up. Put these in Ziploc bags and they'll get a Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag. Um, if we do have friends over, of course, I make them a, their own little container. Um, all right. So that goes in there. And I don't actually get Jariah these. I think she eats these. So I'll get her the rest of those. Okay. So the goodies are out. Dad's stuff there. Leave skills for next week. Suckers. And then all I have to do is separate the uh, cotton candy. That's pretty much. All we do for every Friday, that's kind of what I do. And then we'll make popcorn tonight and put those in there. We will either go to Little Caesars and get pizza, or if Papa John's or Pizza Hut has a super, du super duper deal, then we'll go there. Um, and if I've gotten pizzas with coupons, then we will do that. So it just depends. But typically, pizza is the go-to for family night. It's just kind of like a splurge night for everybody. And then we're back at the typical daily grind <laughs> the rest of the week so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye